All right. So what we got here is a bag of dancing bee equipment, bee feed, two pounds of bee feed, they call it. Pretty, pretty fancy stuff, but that's basically, I think it's a pollen supplement. It is bee feed pollen substitute, two pound bag. And this is, uh, this is bag number two of two pounds of uh, pollen feed. I don't know what that is in kilograms but it's two pounds. I used this last year, and I think I used it the year before, uh, as a dry supplement, just sort of put it in the hives and around the hives, and the bees didn't touch it. Um, it might be because my bees have a lot of pollen of their own, and they just don't, if they can get the real deal, they, uh, they don't go over any for substitutes. And this looks like, these are little bee escape jobbies. I'll show you that in a second. And this is a slatted rack. Uh, one of two that I purchased from Bee Made. It goes on the bottom of the hive, under, on, t on top of the, uh, the bottom board, and basically it just creates a little extra space at the bottom of the hive. Uh, it provides some space for the bees to just sort of hang out and get off the brood and get off the frames and it relieves congestion. Normally there's a bit of a breeze flowing through the bottom of the hive, but with this in the way, it uh, keeps the cool air down below and the queen will lay uh, eggs that are away from the cool air. Anyway, she'll lay more eggs. So let's see what else we got here. This is what I'm sort of excited about. Here we go. I, got, I bought two of these babies and it is a pollen trap. A big one. I've never had one before because I didn't need one. I didn't feel like it was necessary. I really, I didn't want to be bothered with uh, you know, processing something else from the hive. I've still, I've never really gotten into processing wax or any of that. But uh, last year, in the, a couple of years ago, we had some hot, dry summers uh, where I keep my bees close to the ocean. And it seems that on those dry summers when we don't have much rain, the bees seem to shift to collecting pollen instead of collecting nectar. It seems like there's a, there's a nectar dearth, but there's still plenty of pollen. And they just pack in the pollen uh, so heavy in the honey supers that sometimes when I'm pulling out the uh, the frames of honey, what I think is honey, it's actually heavy and feels like honey, but it turns out that it's, it's it's just frame after frame of pollen. So I know the bees don't really need all that pollen. And I picked up a, a plastic pollen trap from somebody a few years ago, and it was sort of uh, difficult to work with, and it was sort of a piece of junk, and it didn't, it didn't work for me at all. So I wanted to get a well-designed, high-quality pollen trap that I could count on to do its job, right? And apparently this is the one. Imagine that is your, your super. You're at the bottom of your hive right there. That's the bottom super. And you want the bees to just come in and they don't want to collect pollen. So they just come through this entrance right here. And they just go into the hive like they normally would. It's just like a standard bottom entrance. But if you want them to collect pollen, you remove this stick like that. You block off the entrance. And so the bees end up using this entrance, and when they do, they come up through this little grate. And this grate is just big enough for the bees to squeeze through, but not big enough for the pollen baskets on their legs, when they've got a nice load of pollen, to squeeze through the hole too. So it falls off their legs and goes down into this grate. And then after a couple days, you pull out the, and this is just a, a looks like a standard uh, one eighth screen. The pollen falls through that, then you pull it out, and then your pollen is right here. Then you dump it out, and when your bees are done collecting pollen for two or three days, you take off that, that stick, and you plug up the hole that they were using, and now they're back to a regular entrance, and they just go through the entrance and into the hive like they normally would. And that's it. I just noticed that this slatted rack isn't, uh, it wasn't glued together. It's just... Uh, stable together or nail gun together. I always use glue people. Uh, we, if we have another dry summer like we did this past summer and my bees seem to switch to hoarding pollen instead of nectar because there's no nectar, um, at least I'll get some pollen out of it and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll either eat it, sell it, 
or eventually just store it and give it back to the bees, whatever. But anyway, it doesn't hurt the bees. Um, it seems to be really simple compared to a lot of these plastic, cheaper pollen traps that I've seen online and that I've picked up from other people. And uh, this is not cheap, but um, I know uh, some people will pay a lot for pollen. So I hope that uh, this thing ends up paying for itself in the end, which is uh, the name of the game. Just looking at this, the second pollen trap, this is the drawer, and there's a significant, significant crack right there in the drawer. Um, it's, it, it is better to have it a little loose than tight, because tight sucks, but um, I can see some bees trying to just squeeze through that. That's a bit of a gap, um, but it's not, I wouldn't call that a defect, but uh, yeah, and there's no, there's no glue. They didn't use any glue to assemble this. But I will, uh, I'll give it a paint job, and uh, I might add a couple more nails or something just to smack it together. Um, but it looks good overall. I'd say it's you know just as good as almost any most other things that I, I purchased made out of wood. And I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Giving this stuff a go, giving this a try. So there it is. And uh, each of these uh, pollen traps have uh, one of four of these little plastic cones in them, and I guess they go right here. Uh, so that uh, maybe it goes the other way. Maybe it goes up. So when the bees come up, if they come up, they can't go back down. Uh, or maybe it's the other way around. But either way, it's all good. So, there we go. We have one pollen trap from Dancing Bee, a second pollen trap from Dancing Bee, a slatted rack, and I think eventually down the road I'll make my own slatted racks, but I think it's, uh, it's nice just to have a, uh, have a template, so I can use that as a template. So that's the second slatted rack, rack, so one last slatted rack, which was not glued together, and uh, Another one, and four pounds of bee feed, pollen supplement, which the bees may or may not use. That's it. So, spring, where are you? Come on, let's go. Let's do this. Mm -hmm.